we're kind of in a section of lakes. I think they're all kind of connected by like little creek systems. Big deep basin Canadian lakes that have a lot of cool rock structure. Big lake trout live there. Coming up here, we didn't know if the road in was gonna be plowed, uh, what conditions we were gonna deal with. We had no ice report. Um, the forecast we had was very limited. We're pretty far out here right now. And it just dropped straight off and all these fish are cruising up and down this break. This trip came about because uh, I come to this lake like three years ago with my buddy Mike sitting right next to me. It's my first lake trout trip ever. I actually caught my first lake trout, just a portage away. Fish on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it was unlike any other ice fishing that I had done before. There's not a lot of places that I know about where you can go and stay off grid and not have cell service and be able to have a chance at catching a monster. And that's exactly what this place is. You got a chance at catching big fish, a lot of little ones to keep you entertained, and you got a, a roof over your head with a giant wood stove to keep you warm. I mean, loaded question. Why do I like fishing lake trout? Um, I don't know, I like musky fishing. They act like muskies. They're predatory fish for sure. They're aggressive. They're hard to catch. Uh, they're in beautiful places that are really hard to get to. There's definitely an adventure always with fishing lake trout because they don't live in easy places to get to. As soon as you see one, you know if it's gonna eat or if, it's, if you're gonna have to sit there and jig and play with it for five, 10, 15 minutes. But you know, a big fish that we're going for right now, a 30, 40 year old fish, they're hard to come by. They're not easy to catch. They're, gonna, they're not gonna happen on your first, second or third trip. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time. If, if you get one, it's worth it. Just crushed it, dude. I was down there for maybe five minutes. Seems like anytime you plan a fishing trip, something doesn't go the way you pictured it in your head before you came on it. For us this time, it's dealing with ice conditions because those are unpredictable. We had lots of rain at the beginning. We got greeted with some cold, which wasn't too kind to things with motors and batteries. I'm just thankful that we're able to be fishing and having some luck. Even if we had good conditions, we would still leave here after five days being like, oh, I wish we would have fished over there. Oh, I wish we would have fished that other lake. So it's a really cool body of water. To even find a lake that's gonna hold those freakish 35, 40 pound fish that you dream about um, is a task alone, but to catch one, that's a whole different, whole different thing. And to be able to chase these fish is, is all you can ask for at the end of the day. I mean, if you catch one, great, but being able to get yours is a task alone.